type, but it's Isa type. Isa types one from set flushing. Vega one. Where's he come from? Vega one's got up and won. And it's set of eyes. What a star. Won the Caulfield Cup. Or oh, Mystic Aroma. Three lengths in. There you go, you mug. Howdy, howdy, mugs. Here we are again in uh, the penthouse this week. As always, winter carnival. Boys are up and about. We never are not up and about. Let's be honest. Even if we go zip from 27, which is most weeks. But we need to just address the situation <laughs> uh, first up. And I know Lloydie's been quite in the dumps. He got out of the dumps, to be fair. But yeah. he might just have something that he needs to get off his chest to, to your bean if you... <laughs> Don't mind giving him your full undivided attention for a minute. How good are you with uh, audio with putting beeps over words? <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, we're, uh, we, we don't yeah. advertise to kids, no. so. No, look, I just think it's, it's uh, the moral of the story. <laughs> 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 Probably uh, leave the M word out of things when we're, we're tipping horses, uh, not looking at anyone in particular. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like. Maybe he had a few things against him on Saturday or Zaki, but <laughs> I was I was on. Would have been one of them. <laughs> Bean was oh, on. That's right. Bean called him a moral. <laughs> Nick, Nick Lloyd's uh, graduation fund was on. Yeah. As well. <laughs> that was that was that was probably all it needed to stop him. Yep. Yeah. So I don't think the rock hard is it the rock or poly grade taken on. Yes, I'm saying the rock hard twenty one hundred eagle yeah, farm yeah. probably yeah. not. Because that's what brought him unstuck. That started Caulfield. What was it? Mm. The Might and Power when Probably Bill mm. got up as well. And yeah. he, yep. same thing. He would have started. Dollar thirty, dollar forty that day. Yeah, well. I'm sure. Yeah, probably yes. called him a moral then too. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I think it's just the weight of the word moral, really. Forget. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's not a good word. I is mean, it? <laughs> I thought it was. I said it because I thought it was, there's no way that could actually, actually stop, stop it. But well, it did. <laughs> To be and you're probably spot on because if you if you look at any stable videos, they're walking the horses on concrete, mate. So they can handle hard ground. <laughs> so we can yeah. probably cross like that excuse on the list. It's just the yeah. weight of the word. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Was it about the three hundred or earlier? Where it was three. Yeah, about three hundred. And we were just like, uh oh. <laughs> I remember the sinking. I remember the sinking and feeling as as so we were just like. Oh no, they're coming from everywhere here. Yeah. It was like Maximal down the outside. <laughs> he was at the inside, and I was like, "He's not going any, is he?" No, he's going backwards now. <laughs> oh, good, great, yep. great. Just what we want. Tickets uh, went to confetti. Yes, pretty quick. Yep. Yep. The good news was, two of the three of us, we uh, we were prepared to Apache Chase. Mm. Yeah, and, and I followed you in as well, which was good. Yes, <laughs> and an unreal win, like much deserved. Des, Des, and Jimmy, we yep. know that you you love the show. You're yep. watching every week because. Yep. We, we pretty much give you guys a spruik every week of a dream team combination. So yep. I don't want to imagine what the uh, the after party, you know, overnight was between no. those two. But no. er everyone's coming out, you know, potting the, oh, they, they walked up front. Rah, rah, rah. That's what your speed map's for. That's what we picked yeah, but, out. Well, he had, but they he had the race to see. They all had... They had the chance. Polelli had as much of a chance as they had the start before against Marzu. Like, yeah. I don't understand. I don't think there's any query with that race at all. I think it was good. No, good race. And the uh, the other one was the the BRC sprint. So there you two, obviously leading into the straight break. Yeah. Alligator blood, Soxigon, both were huge. Soxigon keeps sort of stepping up to the plate. We we talked about him last week. You know, yeah, well, I did because I, I yeah. tipped him. But yeah. just that always at the top level kind of horse. Yeah, Local he's been races. good, hasn't he? Mm. Bit of money spinner. And uh, the blood, what almost, do you reckon? Mm, if he beats half the field home in the Stradbroke, I'll be amazed, in all honesty. I've, I've just been that race completely. <coughs> Why is that the way it was run, or just the no, quality class of the... So they, they went quick, they ran quicker time than the, than the um, Kingsford Smith, but they went a bit harder earlier, and the last 600 was pretty ordinary. It was a walk home, and I don't know, just those horses like the... I'm pretty sure it was, was it Wait for Age as well or Handicap the BRC Sprint? I think it was Wait for Age. I think it was, yeah. So you got two, you got Group 1 and a Group 3 both going back to Handicap coming out of Wait for Age races. I'd much rather be with the first four out of the, the Kingsford Smith Cup before yeah. I'm with any of the four out of the, uh, the BRC Sprint. So, myself. question posed then, did we see the Stradbroke winner go around there at Eagle Farm last weekend? In yeah, either the two maybe, races. Maybe, but not in those two. Not in those two. A left field approach, mate. Potentially. Potentially. But I'm, I dead said I have no idea who I'll be on in the straight break yet. Yeah, That's why I think we're, we're a yeah. week away and I have zero clue. I yeah. think it's a matter of we just wait until the final field's yeah. declared and have to go through the It's going to be a big field. Way. Barriers are going to be, you know, vital, I think, for a race like that. And yeah. Yeah. you still got 
you've still got. I'm happy with my eight dollar ticket about Roth fire. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was good. He was good. He was, he, was, he, was, he was good, but the 17s that are on offer yeah, at the moment yeah, probably yeah. Would probably yeah. prefer well, that. Yeah. In saying that, though, I reckon that's probably your ticket. If you want to back Rothfire, probably have a go now because I think we had a look at yeah. maybe 10 out of that first 20 are probably going to come out. So you're going to get a lot of horses yeah. probably scraping in that really. Well, that's it. Not, I think there's still there. horses that are probably down around 50 or 60 in the order of entry that are probably end up getting yeah. in, so, yeah. or at least getting close. Um, It'll be interesting, yeah. We'll obviously talk more next week. We yeah. will, uh, and we might throw it out to to the mugs and mugettes out there. We, it's always a big week, Strap Road Week. Yeah. Maybe if there's anything special that you want us to do mm. for the show, runner by runner, yep. Instagram live, just live on location from somewhere. I don't know if that can really happen, but hey, from, we love your input, mugs. From Lloyd's Castle, from Lloyd's, <laughs> yeah. Castle. yeah. As long as it's like bedroom, we're okay. Yeah. That's it. We can probably print out a few, yeah, few uh, posters in the sponsors wall again. Yeah. Maybe we can get Hasbulla on the show again. Wow, we can give him a buzz. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it might be good. Anyway, we're a week away. We've still got to get through this week, and we've got an absolute stacked card again here, yep. boys. Ten races, Eagle Farm. We're looking at probably a good two this week because um, sun is shining. Yeah. It's, it's crazy how we've had heavy eights at Doom on Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, almost have to. It yeah. looks like a really Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games yeah. uh, arena <laughs> they're setting up for. But ten races. Uh, you got the Oaks, which is over. Tell us, Lordy, because it's changed distance. It's changed yeah. distance about five times in the last yeah. four weeks. So, twenty two hundred meters for the Oaks Group One Fever, um, and I guess a few last chance entries for some horses in particular to make a big JJ Atkins field next week, <laughs> which we'll get to. But might as well start off. We'll get stuck in. Mate. We'll hone on in. Rails out too, and. Look, last week though, it seemed to play pretty fair where they were winning by. Everybody so, got their chance, yeah. yeah, I don't reckon we're we're looking at too much rail bias this week or no, lack thereof. I think it was the speed map that got the horses that were leading yeah. home and stuff like that. To be honest, in a few of those races. Yeah. Well, let's start off with an eighteen hundred uh, BM eighty five, which is what we do. It's not so much Super Saturday this week, but okay. it's Tony Golan Saturday because he's got Youngblood and Tavion Prince, so I reckon have clashed the last seventy five meets. Uh, that they've ever been around in. Gross. Bean, we've got Ostermeyer in here, one of your uh, one of your favourites. The jury's completely out there. Like, I, I love the horse, but I just have no fucking clue of what they're doing with it. It's just no. like, like, I mean, I I like it to be explained, to be honest. Like, I'd be happy mm. to hear it. Because it's not, because no, it's no disrespect, I just want to understand it. Well, if you know an A or a T Sweeney, I uh, can't tell you the first names, give them a call and well, tell them to come through. I hope it runs well, though. Like yeah, I think no. it's a good horse. Yeah, we get $9 for it, which is yeah. not a... I think it's, and this, is a, this is the right trip as well. <laughs> well, getting closer. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think 2000 is probably the last one. Yeah, that's why I'm confused. Yeah. But of course, yeah. a few raiders in town. Mm -hmm. Bartholomew Diaz, which has always ran in bigger and better races, <clears> has never really done anything in them, but he's still in them. And Barade as well. So it's a bit of a mix-up of the Chris Waller uh, middle distance handicap this week. Lloydy, yeah. Golan... Team going, team not going. That's probably the question. That's the question. Uh, team not going. Uh, mm. Six weeks ago, I think mm. it was, Gerard Ryan, Sterling Alexi, they bought three up and all three were winners. They bring one up and it's Oceanic Flash in the opener. I think it can uh, keep that strike rate ticking along with Tommy Berry on board. Um, he's won the four races now, this son of Sacred Falls, and he put, I think he won three straight and then ran third at Warwick Farm and then bounced back and was a winner. <laughs> Um, resumed behind Norwegian Bliss, who I think is unbeaten. Uh, and then last start behind a Arapaho, uh, who's pretty short favourite in Sydney on Saturday as well. I think that's the right form. Back to a dry track, third up, 1,800. I yeah, think. the heavy last start. Yeah, I don't know. 13 lengths. Yeah. No but good. That win, the, well, the winner <laughs> won by eight. Yeah. So it, it pissed him. Um, yeah. I just think back to, back to a dry track, it'll be the key to it, and it can win. Fair enough. Um, I'm actually with um, I'm with Barade here. I think mm. the um, I think the outsider of the field can um, can pick this off here. It's down in class, um, down in distance. A big ticks for this horse. Um, needs a rock hard surface. Yeah. The wind's been howling yeah. all weekend. Oh, uh, week sorry. Did it here last year, like over the carnival, like the Lord Mayor's Cup or something? Um, I thought it won down. 
Oh, Just check what? the old track stats, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you. Um, it's one for one the trip. Shootout quality. Um, last start it was in behind Milford, Flasher, Pancho, and beat home no effort, which I think ran about one. sort of third last in that race. That's come mm. out and won subsequent. So yep. that form looks pretty good. Big open track. It's a run on horse. There's enough speed here. I mean, there's a few of these that I sort of didn't half mind. But the former at Casino Mondial, I didn't mind it. But then I looked mm. at the form and I was like, Ugh. Yeah, it was like nice. synthetic sort of track form and yeah. stuff like that. I was like, it's a bit ordinary. So, yeah, berate at $20. I think it's a pretty good each way bet in the first. Well, that's it. And then you compare in the form of the locals to, to form like a horse like that, mate. Yeah. And you just go, well, <coughs> does it stack up? That's yeah. why we race and we find out. Um, just to add even more confusion around, <coughs> mate, I've got Cognac on top. Uh, I know we love a pink gin on this show, a Bundy and Rum. Yeah. Bebo's for us, go. We can maybe add cognac to that list. Mate, you certainly won't be no, me on that. No, it's probably a bit fancy for us to be to be yeah. fair anyway. Uh, the distance may be query. I think two thousand plus is the go. But I've landed with him on top, mate. Willow jumps on. He's he grows a bit of a leg up here. Willow. He does ride well. He rides well up. But here. is it that he he grows a leg up here, or is it is it just head and shoulders? Melbourne and Sydney jockeys above our jocks. Probably, definitely that. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that's the only reason, to be honest. Um, but like, last start... Uh, McAvoy becomes James McDonald when he comes to Queensland. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nashville Willow is the Frankie to Tory equivalent of the world. Like, <laughs> that's it. Well, they, they absolutely do clean up, yeah. let's be honest. Um, but look, drops back down to 54 kilos here off the 61 and a half grandstand carrier for their last start at Eagle Farm. So you've got that little, little bit of a... Little bit of ticks. Yeah. Maton ran second... In that race, yeah. uh, Wallow Horse. Wednesday. Oh, Pride. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Ultimate Pride, and then Mate Don come out and won like bloody Might and Power yeah. since yeah. then. So, look, if any form stacks up, it's winning form, right? Yep, correct. Mm -hmm. yep. Happy with that? Yep, mm -hmm. alrighty, great. We spent about five minutes too long on that race. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. I think we're quietly confident about race one, though. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, like, we're all pretty convincing here. We're all here. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're real you worried. Give ourselves each a pat on the back. Well, good work. Mugs, well think, found, boys. I mean, <laughs> you know, eleven oh eight on Saturday's race one. We could dead set be in the absolute penthouse by uh, yeah. well, it's a, what eighteen hundred meter race. So mm. give it five minutes at least. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> so right. There you go. Uh, well, there could be some confidence coming in a race too. Um, I don't know if that's the word about Paladas. Does Paladas and confidence? <laughs> Ring true when you because we're getting no. two dollars ninety. It's maybe the day was a dollar thirty. Oh, oh, he's just becoming that horse. Um, you know, we're we're talking cat cups. We're talking your Tom Melvins. We're talking. Yeah, he's not yeah. even on that level though. Yeah, no, uh, he's he's pass. running bolt bolt of fifths and six Paladin. Yeah. So poison odds. Uh, you're both agreeing with me, so I'm guessing you're on something else. Bean, why don't you share your words of wisdom? Um, well, I'm really keen on this horse. Uh, I think it's almost the best of the day. Um, I respect Francesco Guardi coming up for J-Mac and Waller, but um, the almost launch of the day, here's Ventura Ocean, off the back of last weekend. Um, it was 3.1 length, seventh in the Archer behind Apache Chase and Holyfield. They come out and run 1-3 in the Kingsford Smith. The former, and that is super duper. Um, before that, it was two lengths off Bullfinch, and that horse is another one for Wallop that's absolutely flying. Never missed this trip. Um, yeah, it's it's a win. It's winning. When you I said think. Ventura goes up nine bucks, I thought you were taking the piss. Ventura Ocean. Jeez, yeah, yeah, right. I thought you were surprised. Oh, well, I am surprised. Nine bucks. Not is... in a good way, though. I thought you were furious. You thought we no, were no, no. Yeah. the price. I thought you were thinking, <laughs> no. what's going on no, here? No, no, it's right. crazy. It should be should be five. Yeah, four fifty five bucks. I yeah, it's it it's if it runs anything like it in the archer, it's a miles better than these. Mm, spot on. I agree completely. I think it's I think it's one of the bet, the best bets of the day. It's three stars at Eagle Farm for two wins and a third. Malian's yeah. been on in all three of those runs and he's with Barrier Eight's gonna get a nice spot, might be one out, one back from, from eight. And uh like you say, Apache Chase comes out and wins a group one, Holyfield yeah. and well, Nick and Over, he beat Nick and Over home, and Nick and Over got beat point two in the BRC Sprint yeah. on Saturday, and Holyfield got beat point four and fourth. Um, that was weight for age with fifty nine. It gets in with fifty six and a half. Yeah, I, yeah, should cool. be three dot favourite. Yeah. All right. Jeez. Yeah. Convincing. Um. I might just cross out and jump on board. Hey? <laughs> might have to. You were on it two starts ago. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just doesn't win. So that's the problem with my uh, my strategy. If they don't win for me, I'm off well and truly off them very very quick. <laughs> Uh, no, I did. I actually did give it a half a hope. Second, <laughs> second top raider. 
I thought Barney's Law is a bit of a, a smoky here as well. Mm. Um, at 16, it went up to Rocky as well last start in the That's Fitzroy, right. yep. which is the consolation, as mm. they call it, where none of them ran in the archer as soon as a spare spot <coughs> came yeah. available. So, uh, 14, right? Yeah, because it was 75 wide, <laughs> and he started pulling it up oh, that's in the straight. Was so, day, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it was an absolute pearl of a ride from whoever rode it. Look, put it this way, yeah. Pengali didn't get the rider uh, yeah. here in town. You get Hugh Bowman on for yeah. Mark Curry, which is a pretty good uh, scalp. Runs just blinders at Eagle Farm too, this yeah. horse. It's, been, it's run some really good races. I think the only time it's missed a place is in the uh, the gateway, yeah, which right. behind uh, I think Apache Chase won that, which is yeah. a group one winner. Mm. So a bit of value for your Quinellas there, Monks. We're, uh, we're both... Steering clear of the Golan runner, which could come back to bite us. But we love the TJ, but Eagle Farm and yeah. TJ Golan just not mm. the best of friends, are they? Just interesting stat I just thought of mm. while you mentioned the Gateway. Last two winners, Vega One and Apache Chase, both come out and won the Kingsford Smith Cup same year. Or same Jeez. season. Wow. wow. The year before that was Master <laughs> JV. <laughs> yeah, well, and he won a Cleveland Bay at Townsville. So. <laughs> we'll start our, uh, so same sort of thing. Yeah. Start, yeah. start the history from yeah. what prior. Yeah, last, yeah. last, last, last two years. Two forget years. the rest. Yeah. Well, when's uh, Gateway's sort of December? December isn't it? I think, so, yeah. all right. Well, fingers crossed they've got early Kingston Smith markets yeah. out come yeah. December. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they won't. That's right. Four year olds. Mystic around. Yeah, four year olds. There we go. Well, that's right. We we didn't even mention the Misty Show. Oh, look, just a. Great, thanks to all the support that we get. No one yeah. really gives us a slug. And you got to remember, when you go around at 201, you can only spruik something as much as you can. <laughs> yeah. But I tell you what, my, uh, I think all of our, our eyes absolutely lit up coming into the turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were. We didn't, know, we didn't know that they went as hard as they can. You can't really tell on the run sometimes. Yeah. But she absolutely saddled up. Yeah. And I was just thinking, shit, what am I going to spend all this money on? <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest. And then the dream just gets shattered and just as quickly as it begins. So... Just uh, Eagle Farm, not her friend, I think nah, is the, uh, no. the moral of the story. So, back to the pulled up for us. Yep. That's all right. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll be back better in our... Hasn't detrimented the prep, which no. is good. So, we were a bit worried that Eagle Farm busted the legs up. Oh, yeah, boy, just put her out in the paddock, six weeks, freshen her up. None of that chat. So, Holbert's is yeah. on the ball. He's saying, no, 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 freshen her up in the pool, back to back to the races. <laughs> yeah. oh. Boom! Boom! Alrighty, I'm just going to leave the floor open for uh, race number three because we've got the old Phoenix. The Phoenix, rip a name. Or the treasury Lloydie Phoenix. Lloyd, <laughs> Nick Lloyd yeah, Phoenix. The Lloyd Phoenix, the, the Lloyd Retirement Fund Phoenix. Mm. So, a few implications here, mate. Yep. Uh, 1,500 metres. Mm -hmm. JJ Atkins next week. Mm -hmm. A few horses chasing some prize money. Yep. Is uh, there any more that I need to add? Nope. Um, I think... <laughs> We'll be talking about political debate in six months, like we spoke about press statement in the autumn sun. I think it's a superstar. Yeah, except it hasn't won a race yet. Correct, but I don't think they need to win it. Well, obviously they need to, <laughs> but but I think it could dead set be a. It might not be a gap job on Saturday because you got the grand final in a week's time, but I would dead set wouldn't be surprised if it wins by six. Ease down on Saturday political debate. James McDonald's on. Uh, the the confidence from the stable is that the horse's coat is gleaming and it's just doing everything you Dapples. want it to be doing. Um, and you know that last start behind Swiss Exile and Exo Lady over twelve hundred, it was it was three in front of them a hundred meters after the post. Like it was only getting warm late. So so you think out of as a be all mare, it's it'll want two thousand <coughs> time. Might win the cross plate too. Who knows? Um, but wins on Saturday. <laughs> wins on Saturday. What? Uh... Let's play devil's advocate here, mate. Yep. Prize money wise, yep. can it sneak in if it if it has a hard luck story, third or fourth, hitting the line? I think, but I think first or second might be enough, and then third or fourth, it's sort of like waiting. Yeah, right, that was gonna be like proper waiting. I was like, I was like how much does it need to to yeah. get in the field as a lot? It, and if, well, if it wins by three or four lengths, does it get in the field even more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does, does it get to pick up some pretty sure? Does it get to pretty sure? Barry runs. Yes. The winner yeah. of this. So yep. No, he's straight he's in. There, straight in, and it's an extra thousand dollars every length that wins by. Wouldn't that be nice?
Uh, um, Bean, you're, you're on board yeah, with the Lloyd train? Yeah, I'm with yeah. You. yeah. You it's already into $1.85 in the 220 last night. Yeah. Well, and that's just to reiterate the, the stable confidence. It was going around at a dollar, what, 16 or something on yeah. Monday. And they've scratched it to save it for this. Obviously, yeah. a bit of prize money, but you're pretty I confident think, with your horse, put it that way. Yeah, and I think potentially in hindsight, because I had. Well, obviously, Basky at, or whatever, however you want to call it, it won that race on Monday. Mm. Yep. It was also nominated for this, obviously, when it won. They don't need to come here, but there's about twice as much prize money for winning this race on Saturday. And I reckon a part of me was thinking if Basky got beaten on Saturday, or even if political debate was there and it won, they'd rather not run the risk of being a couple of thousand too short for the JJ with this horse and so they've gone here with it yeah right. now if basket yep. doesn't get in they've gone well we won the race we didn't get in yeah, yeah. that sort of thing but so it shows the the seeds of the waller camp i think so yeah that's yep. it number one plus press statement did win the JJ seven days after winning its start prior like it was on the seven day backup yes yeah, the JJ so we know waller is a creature of habit yeah, yep. he's got systems at work, yep. and uh, Zoo Gotcha mm. is another just, one that yeah. could work here as well. Being, Big I think, daddy for I think it was the uh, the meeting that the Doomy Cup meeting that was yeah. pushed back. He was in yep. barrier fourteen this time around, twelve hundred meters. So these are the uh, the other half of the the camp that aren't going to the JJ's path. Mm. Does it just win for an easy double up? <clears throat> I think it. I think it can, um, but I'm actually surprised to see XO Lady six or seven dollars. To be honest, I think that's mm. the better form line spot she's coming out of uh, the size and the Champagne Classic. Obviously, seven day back up, but back to twelve hundred from the fourteen, which I just don't think she saw out the other day. She'll lead Jimmy Byrne, Des Falls, Eagle Farm. Talk about a recipe for success. She's triple Jeez. threat. Yeah, but no, look, I th I thought you know you her win three back where she beat Steady Ready and Plimstock over the thousand, and then. Well, she beat home political debate over 1,200 two starts ago. So I think that's the right form and happy to be with. Yeah, I think I'm with you there, Lloydie. Mm -hmm. Just uh, just didn't handle the 1,400. Sue Gotcha hasn't seen a good track either in its couple of starts. So I don't know, you assume more horses handle a good track, but a good Eagle Farm track being. Yeah, mm. I'm, um, I'm with Midnight in Tokyo. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good bet here. Well. Um, like the form around it's pretty strong. Uh, second last start in behind Nituno, yeah. I believe, and I think third out of that race was She's a Belt, and she came yeah. out and brained him last weekend. So I'm just going with the form that's yeah. sort of yeah. week to week kind of thing. Uh, never seen dry either, which is obviously mm. the slight query. Same with Zoo Gotcha. Draws a little bit better. Bash on barrier ten though. That man just knows how to. He just wraps up packs and doesn't he? <laughs> doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goes okay yeah. up here. Anyway, up, yeah, yeah, I thought Midnight in Tokyo was the, the better value post the sort of 245 yeah. you get about Zoo Gotcha. It's, it's in from sevens already to 550, so there's there's fans about. Mm. Before we go to the next race, Ben, have you got to get in the sea this week? Uh, no, but I'm um, looking through the form of Paladas. It's pretty close, I reckon, if it doesn't win on the weekend. Well, I reckon you've already put it in there. That's yeah, the key with Because I've got something to go in the seat. All right, try I've got a, I've got a Lloydies get in the seat. Yeah. And it's, we're going to Rose Hill for a, for a gripe. The listed, so the listed feature at Rose Hill on Saturday. Oh, you're going to throw the whole I'm race in the bin? Race. I'm going to throw Sydney Racing in the bin. Yeah, just this throw the whole yeah. city in there. It is a listed Winter Cup worth 150,000. There's eight horses in it. Taika Mochi is your top weight with a 99 Raider. Mis Military Mission is the odds-on favourite, hasn't won 100,000 in prize money. <clears throat> and the lowest rated horse, LeMay, has a handicap rating of 49, which is two handicap points lower than the worst rated horse in the midway on Saturday. My God. So and it's just horrific. It is a horrific. So Taika Mochi just wins by 55 lengths then on that, doesn't it? Yeah, and well... The top weight? Got an extra three and a half kilos on it, and then four kilos on everything else. So <laughs> you've been, I don't even want to look at the market. No, you? it's it's awful. But I just yeah, Sydney racing this time of year, been jumped completely. Yeah, but we'll we'll be back for the round the grounds later on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it sounds like a pretty easy race yeah. to find a winner at. That's from here. yeah, <laughs> military mission <laughs> in the winter cup. No, so. All right, well, listed racing gone. Well, race five at headquarters. Yep. None of these horses were a uh, a chance to go down for that winter cup because we're over the thousand meters. <laughs> Although in saying that, say, they probably be yeah. the last one home, wouldn't they? Yeah. Just sprint and hold on. Mm -hmm. Um, 
But the locals have a pretty strong hand here. It's great to see. Mm. Yeah, the Madam Sass Lightning Quality Handicap. <laughs> Ripper name. Uh, I suppose to see Zoo style here is Steve Hewlett, but you don't seem to know anything. I was gone in the paddock. Yeah, well, I knew that four weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a week ago when he reported it. <laughs> it was coming here. Anyway, um, <laughs> Muncie's in town. O'Day, TJ, he's got one here. He's got two in. Uh, oh, but Bean, there's one that I know he always gets yeah, you up and about. Mate. It's a, it's a, it's a stiffy in the pants for little old Gogol. <laughs> oh, mate, Gogol's back. Gogol's back. <laughs> Famous return. Uh, well, Boomnova is your favourite. Two dollars seventy. Contemptuous is up there as well. The thing with this race, Mugs, if you look at maybe the first nine barriers drawn, I reckon every one of those horses is going to be trying to lead this race. Mm. It is crazy speed. Yeah. So it's it's aptly named the Lightning Handicap. Um, will Gogol lead this field, Ben? Is that, uh, that's the question. Oh, I doubt it. You doubt it? <laughs> Look at looking at the speed on well, the paper. Who, who do you think leads and then lead into your, your tip for us? Um, yeah. Us, Usmanov, Usmanov from one will probably take it up, Usmanov. I think. Usmanov and Esther LaRocca. They're just 900 metre bat out of hell. Like, mm. I think Esther LaRocca won the bat out of hell. Like, yeah. They're just bat out of hell specialists. They don't go a yard yeah. over 901 metres and they just fall and die, basically. This is, what a, happens. Like, this they, is a, a classic race that Sugar Boom would have just yeah, yeah, yeah. been in the ride of your life in, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's one of those ones. Look, I'm I'm with Boom Nova. Um, 310 into 270 is a pretty decent push. Um, special mention, Contemptuous and Go Goal, obviously. I think they're probably the top three in this race. But um, off the back of the last couple of wins for Contemptuous, beat home the big goodbye. That put an absolute space on, mm. on the Wednesday. I mean... The jury's out on Orbison, I think. Yeah. I mean, there could be a few sort of half-haters amongst the mugs here. But um, anyway, well, um, the hype perhaps has... The bubbles burst there. But um, loves it good. Loves Eagle Farm. And, you know, the best part about it, got a good mare's jockey on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think even just Orbison, back to Orbison, I think he's just a bit of a flat-track bully, Davey Van Sunshine Coast, isn't he? Mm. I, don't, I mean, I, like, Orbison could be really good, and that just speaks volumes of how good the big goodbyes go, and perhaps, I don't know, because that was a really good win on Wednesday. It was. Like, yeah. If, if, if Orbison was as good as the hype, he would have put that field away. Yeah, exactly. But he yeah, seemed yeah, to be a bit What was he, $31 in an Everest last year? Yeah. yeah. But right. you had it. You had the, we had the vision on the on Instagram of him in the yard. Oh, he was yeah. going absolutely berserker. Like, yeah. you know, like, I mean, that was... There's a long time between runs, so yeah. maybe you're, you're mad taking the even money on Saturday, uh, like us. Mate, it was a bloody Monday. Monday. That's what's <laughs> even worse. That's what's worse, yeah. <laughs> it's even more it's, sick. It's, yeah. At least it's closer to payday. I was sitting down at my ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's run 10. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm trying to find the receipt for the ham and bread that I bought to take it back for another yeah. three bucks back in my account. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, yep. Yep. Uh, tricky race. I'm... I, I, I'm in love with Contemptuous. Oh, uh, no. You are, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, Kate. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. But Mate. you just go back to that like last start back at Eagle Farm over 1,200 in March. It beat last chance. That horse, Airborne, ran second to Soxagon. Yeah. Soxagon oh, yeah. Um, and I just know, I know the horse had a couple of little niggling issues and they've been patient with it and they've always placed it well. Like, you don't win seven races without, you know, being placed well and it's going for five straight. Loves Eagle Farm. I just think, I don't think it has to lead either. It'll just be. No, it the, doesn't. If it leads, it gets beat. Yeah. I think. Yeah, that's it. So, Karen McAvoy, he tends to ride well in Queensland. Um, yeah, sure <laughs> does. I think it can win again. Uh, well, I gave a sprint to Willow at the start of the show, and I'm backing him in here again on one of the month's favourite horses, to be frank, Gary No Baldy. Yeah. yeah. Um, still waiting for the T-shirts to get made, so... Watch this space uh, out there, Monks, but it just eerily reminds me of, uh, might have been last prep, maybe the prep before, where he stormed home trying to catch Fender. Oh, yeah. I remember we were, on, we were on a Fender bender that day, so <laughs> it was all good for the result, but yep. just didn't get there, but swooped. And this race just shapes up to mimic that perfectly. There's going to be stupid pace, which is exactly what he needs. Mm. First up, Beast. Seems to be the only golden runner that has a dig at Eagle Farm as well. So... Couple of big ticks, uh, and just be a bit of a heart in your mouth. Kind of watch for all the Garibaldi fans like myself out there. Yep. Mm, but yeah, good luck cracker of a race. We should get five fifty about it. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Usually, you that, get like that, that that's where I how yeah. almost have a dazzle. I mean, I'm yeah. pretty much off the horse, but at five fifty, I could reconsider coming back. It's on probably the bus. longest odds he's ever started. Yeah, to be yeah I think it's close. So, <laughs> yeah, it's almost going to be it. And and this time last year, 
he was potentially the goal on Stradbroke Smokey, but yeah. they've obviously figured out he doesn't run close to 1,400 metres. Yeah. So. He's, he's a 1,200 But I mean, yeah. talent-wise, opinion-wise, you can't really get any higher than that, can you? Mm. No. no, you can't. Right, right. We're moving on. Good yep. little race. Yeah. We haven't even got to the quarter yet, Mugs. We're only at race six, ten races. But Spotify's <laughs> going to cut us off. <laughs> Lucky our friends got all the time in the world for us, eh? Yeah. No, they don't pay us by the hour, unfortunately. That'd have been nice, wouldn't it? We'd carry, carry this on for four hours. Yeah. Uh, well, look, we talk about the Chris Waller middle distance yeah. staying Humboldt car and handicap every week. We've got a new addition. He's thrown some money up to Queensland Racing because he now holds the world famous annual Chris Waller Magic Millions National Classic Mile. So <laughs> himself with four runners in the race, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. But they're all those horses that we all have backed many a times before. They all wear the same bloody silks most of the time, purple and whatever. But Kiku, a tissue, nudge, our intrigue. You can't say you haven't backed any of these uh, in the past. $4.20 for Kiku is the pick of the yard. Woody, you're a nudge fan. Mm. Won this race last year from memory. Did it? Yep, there's your stat of the day. Yep. Um, Five dollars fifty, but you're getting that for pretty much all the Waller runners. Does one stand out, or are you? Same question. You're not team going last time. Are you team Waller this time? I'm team Waller. I've actually got a one, two, three in my top four. Yeah, I think it's gonna come um, pretty close. Geez. And I you think were top four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, and I think it's race book order that you can put them that way as well. I, I think Nudge is the the winner here. I think I want. I was with her that she was meant to run in that Doom and Meet that got abandoned. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Cup there that was, um, and you know you go back to her last start. She got she she flew home. She's only been in a length. She ran sixth. You know, like it was a blanket finish at finish at Hawkesbury. Um, she's had two runs at Eagle Farm. She won. It was the Pam O'Neill, twelve months ago. Yep. And her other one was months running second to Tafana in a Tats Tiara. So, I think it's fair to say the Dry Eagle Farm track is her friend, Nashra Willa. Cool. He's in form. In Queensland, yeah, yep. rides well up here. Rides well up here. Yeah. Uh, throws a leg in Queensland, you could say, with the, the Queensland sun on his back, and I think Nudge wins. Second that. Um, I'm actually I'm with one of the other Waller runners. Um, I thought our intrigue would go close, but it just means further after last yeah, time. Yeah, on because like yeah. if it goes out, if, it, if it, this well, was over twenty one hundred, another it's... classic Chris Waller placement in mm. his own race here. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. what they're doing with that. Yeah, no. makes no sense. Um, look, I'm with a tissue. Um, in recent form for this has this man massive yep. in contention. Two last start thirds and a Group Three in a listed race behind Rustic Steel, who is yep. absolutely flying. Yep. Um, loves a good track. Uh, Rewatch last start if you can mm -hmm. bring it up because it was launching from the back. They were always sort of the rest of the field was basically pedaling in behind Rustic Steel and it came rocketing down the outside. Um, it gets back. I think there'll be enough pace here to be able to run on. Um, Art Cadeau came out of one of those. I think the race before that it won last weekend pretty well down at Randwick. Uh, yeah, a tissue dry ground wins. I backed to two starts last prep. 26th of February, she was beaten 76 lengths because she stood there. Yep. And then 12th of that. March in the Coolmore, I backed her again and she didn't jump and they just pulled her out of the race. So, hope she jumps for you. That's yeah. It. Well, they seem to have gotten her right. Well, like, yeah, but you yeah. never know those. Well, what does Rustic Steel start here? If it comes up, like it's red hot favourite. Right, right. it'd want to lose its penis and balls. And oh, yeah. 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 Um, but no, I know, and you go back two starts, third to Curran's Lane, and hopeful, hopeful one listed races yeah. next start. So might yeah. be up here for the Q22 next week to yeah. give it a shake. And uh, well, just a quick shout out as well to some more fans of the show. We got lots of fans. We do. Uh, but the Thompsons, yeah. Sten, you know, <laughs> Steph and Ben, congrats, they actually got married. Yeah. Um, fortunately, well, I couldn't make the party, so I don't know about you two or your no, invites, no, no, but uh, I, I didn't get one. It looked like a fun night, and I, I was more than happy to see all the jockeys that I'd already backed on the Monday meeting yeah. on the boat getting blind with the newlyweds <laughs> on the Sunday. So that was very, very helpful. He, 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 but, well, he, he wrote a winner, did he? He wrote, wrote a winner, 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 winner of the day. So like, obviously, crikey, didn't, crikey, must obviously be, didn't go hard. Must enough. be on the on the good stuff because I could, I wouldn't have been stuck like that to my first winner. He's come out of come out of like a lightning. Having some fun in the toilets, but yeah. anyway, but uh, well, shout out on the wedding, congrats! But shout out to Benny, who's the only Queensland jockey in this race. Mm -hmm. So, 
He rides well up here in Queensland, though. He does. He does. Course, so. Yeah, he goes well. Good on him. He's probably still a Victorian, really. He hasn't... He's no. getting suspended. He hasn't ridden enough up here. Yeah, yeah he's, still, he's still a Mexican on his yeah. past. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's why he got married. Yeah. He got married in Queensland. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, Steph's well, in the same she's, boat. That's she's really helpful, boat, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad. I wonder if she'll change it in the last name because there's enough Thorntons in the frigging racing mm. game. Anyway, there's about 45 of them. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Look, I reckon they'll change it, but racing it'll stay Thornton just for that. Well, she's, her, she's her own empire, mate. Mm. What about if she li- what about she links it up? Steph Thompson Thornton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we could do that. TT. Steph yeah. TT. Yeah. Who needs KWT when you got STT? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> sound. Female yeah. 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 uh, <laughs> SDT. Oh. Yeah. 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 We know what. Yeah, we're not going to go go there, yeah. mate. Good. Uh, good yeah. segue into the next race. Mugs never know more, and that's the chat that we'll uh, <laughs> continue to have yeah. about that situation, but. Four dollars forty the field here. So again, a uh, a long list of horses that you name them, we've backed them. Put it that way. I'm looking at profit. I'm looking at Lloydy. <laughs> looking at twelve dollars you're getting. Uh, that man KWT though, he's up and about. He's, up, rides he's well riding. In Queensland. Yeah. He sure does. Rides real well in Queensland. Uh, but we're going over the fifteen hundred meters. Bit of a funny distance, fifteen hundred, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Just really making a mile. Just make it a mile, really. They probably have put a new bloody stop in for yeah. the start. But anyway, uh, handicap conditions. As I said, Lloydy, never know more your favourite. Mm. Timmy Clark on board for the Dunyard. Yep. You've got a going runner in there. You've got Kubrick in there. You've got Bullfinch in there as well. Yeah. Interesting, uh, Vinko's on the quick backup as well. Comes out of the, it was actually a pretty good run. It was flying. Yeah. I, I had to watch that replay again and look at the form to figure out that it was actually Vinko. Vinko, yeah. Because it, it didn't uh, make sense. That was fine. Socks were Yeah. Saturday, yeah. Got beat 1.8. Uh, not with it. Um, I'm down the bottom. I'm with, I, I think Mr. Waller's in for a good afternoon. I'm with Bullfinch. Um, trains well up here, doesn't trains it? Trains well in Queensland. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> three starts at the track, two wins in the third, and they've been its last three starts. It got beaten when it ran third. It was beaten point one, you know. So like, it's not like it got beat a long yeah. way. It was literally head up, head down from being, you know, for what what price is it if it comes in here on looking for four in a row? Is my question. Um, anyway, answer that short because it beat Aiden's Field and Ventura Ocean last start. Ventura Ocean or Frank before earlier in the day. Uh, well, you'd hope so, because Aiden's field hasn't franked any of them ever, has it? Was, <laughs> it? was an okay second yesterday, though. Yeah, yeah that's the story of his life, though, isn't it? Yeah, second, I know. But, but, second, like, but, but it's it's like it, wasn't, it wasn't dead last. Yeah, it's, it's not, not like running bad. Like, yeah. It's not running bad, it's just not running good enough. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. It was my best of the yeah. day, I know. <laughs> yeah. And maybe the best beater, who you know, had decent form. Anyway, uh, yeah, Bullfinch for me. Willie Park, $5 or something. Tick, I'm with you. I'm sticking with Vinko. That run just couldn't be ignored, and I think that's why we're on the quick backup because the yeah. horse must be flying, going all right. absolutely flying, yeah. uh, and maybe joins Garibaldi as the only two golden runners that enjoy Eagle Farm. You know what I'm surprised about? Never no more four dollars fifty favorite because I do mm. think it, I, the horse is like is it just Tom Melbourne? It's one. It's run second. It's last four or something in those same colors. But that race behind acquitted, like acquitted, rated through the roof that day. And I know Aiden's field ran third, but like the the pros were talking that if a quitter got a spot in the Stradbroke, it, that rating good enough to win it. So, what do you do with a horse that got beat two and a half behind it with sixty one back down to fifty four on Saturday? Never no more. Have it in your multiples. Yeah, it's never come close on a good track though. No, that's, that's also a, yes. mm, a detriment yes. to it. Ah, uh, stats are great, aren't they? Yeah, but Tim Clark, he does ride well in Queensland, so... <laughs> he does, he does. Uh, well, a horse that probably grows wings, which is weird because cats generally don't have wings, mm, no. uh, is a horse that we all know and love. Has opened up at $2.50 in the all-in markets, which yeah. I'm sure some mugs out there took that with a grain of salt because he comes up your $3.70 favourite here <laughs> with a pretty good drawer as well. And that's Special K, Kementari. Nash Rewilla came out and said he's going to follow this horse wherever it goes. Um, I think that just might be his way of saying, James Cummings, can you give me some decent rides on your, yeah. your Godolphin horses? Yeah. Not so much this thing. Mm-hmm. But I just don't know. 
Don't know about Kementari. 1,200 metres, no. Morton Cup. This is ballot free or whatever you want to call it into yep. the strategy as well. Yep. So these horses will be looking for... Only two of them are nominated for the strategy though. So the $19,000 right. question is, one of the other 10 win, do they pay the late nom fee? I don't think they will. No, well... Because I think the, I think the second out of it, acceptance is one we <laughs> yesterday. So I think those horses that were nominated are no longer. Right. If that makes sense. So just Kementari and Nick and Oba. Yeah, so there you right. too. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I'm sure the owners would love hearing that from the trainer, wouldn't you? Mm. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. Yeah, you know, unless you want to pay 19k. Yeah. Well, we were in it last week and you decided not yeah. to accept. So. Mind you, it was nine thousand yesterday, so. Yeah, Ooh. For that first acceptance fee or whatever it is. But. Anyway, back yeah. to the form boys. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, Kementari three dollars seventy favourite. Yeah. Now look, I've been on record a long time saying that Kementari is an out and out miler. Yeah. He's fresh or a miler. It's yeah. one of the two. He's not fresh today. He's third up, and this is not a mile. So I'm thinking he's... not wet, either. Yeah, you're probably right there as well. But he's definitely a lay. And he's not a very good lay from what we've heard in the stud career. No. I think the other one that wants to spot in the stud breaks the winner here. I'm I'm keen, Nick and Nova. His run the other day was super, and he's come out of that... um, (coughs) The race that I put in the bin earlier, the BRC sprint. Um, But it's coming from 1,300 back to 1,200, where he got beat 0.2... And it's a bit unlucky. It's a fifty-one dollar chance. Anthony Allen's been on him all prep. Uh, I think you can put a pen through his run in the Archer up at Rocky. Like it was just he was wide. He over raced throughout, and he was in the Aquas colours. And he gets back into his red and white. So uh, grows a leg when he's in those silks. He must have known yeah. when I, known that he was in the uh, the navy that day. But yeah, I think he gets back. I think there's enough speed because you've got you know prime candidate. You've got bloody Sir Warwick. You've got the other thing that. We'll go forward there. That the name escapes me. Uh, Tumbler Ridge, it'll be there. But yeah, I think Nick and Over over the top. Um, I'm with the Kiwi here. I think it's a super bet in this race. About the fourteen dollars. Let's big lamb. Um, comes through the bright shadow. Ran pretty well behind Britain Beauty and Tahitian Dancer. Um, the latter Frank the form last weekend. I think it was third behind Najmadi. Um, it's a Kiwi second up. So ticks. Yep. Moss's mm. box of approval there. Um, and it just needs a good surface. It's handled Eagle Farm previously. And from Barrier 4, I just think um, Craigie Grills, if he can get it sort of sitting... But it does ride well in Queensland. Yeah, yeah it does ride well <laughs> in Queensland, that's right. Um, it just maps to get the run of the race behind these, and it's absolutely flying, carrying air, 53 kilos on the back. I think it's um, I think it's a genuine winning chance. in, in a pr- I think this race is pretty open, though, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, well, I think Centrefire can be a chance, too. Yeah. Yeah, Ben, I was on every word you said there, but you said the wrong Kiwi name. Oh. I'm on Babylon Berlin. Um, there's some big things that can go the way. And the main thing is, if you go back through the NZ form, let me tell you about it, boys. Yeah, you've done the NZ form. I've done the NZ form. So there's Group 1 uh, Railway, I think they call it over there. Yeah, it's in there in my notes <laughs> somewhere. But within a length of Levant and Entrevier, which yeah, is a pretty well. good form line, the thing is, this horse seems to be a Kiwi that just needs good tracks. Yeah. Uh, and every start has either led or been second in the run. What happens last week? J-Mac fucking rips it back, pulls it back to last, and it doesn't do a thing, and he just sells it through. I know, because I jumped off Rude of Beauty and got on this. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and it started favourite. It was, yeah, yeah, it was hammered it was in, wasn't it? Too, it was... So, again, Benny, Benny Thornton, Benny Thompson, whatever yeah. you want to call yourself, mate, you ride well when you're up here in Queensland. Yeah. From Barrier 5... <laughs> He could even be on the lead. And I think that's where you want this horse ridden if you're going to follow it in like mm. I am. So 11 bucks each way. Thank you very much. 11s. Is 11s. You nearly have to get some of your money back if you backed it last start with yeah. that price, don't you? Yeah. Looking at you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> you need to get your money back from not back and written beauty yeah. from that last start yeah, there yeah. as well. It's more yeah, than anything. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that came out and did some good things again, didn't mm. it? Mm. All right, or well, monks, if you're still listening, kudos to you. Um, <laughs> you deserve a medal or yeah. an award or something. I'll tell you what, I told you we were up and about this week, which is yeah. always great for listening, you know, because yes. it feels like you're here with us. Um, now, there's going to be some uh, some opinions coming up because it's Group 1 fever. you got 20-plus horses mm-hmm. kicking off from the 2200-metre Oaks start. Um, and it's one of those races that you get the horses pop up over the years that just... Don't really do much from it. Yeah, it's definitely that race. Hundred percent, that race. race. You have the Chris. I'm not talking Mm. about winning, but I'm talking Chris Wall will have two or three pop up 
the seconds and thirds, yeah. and then who knows what happens. Actually, so I noticed it's a messy, Sydney that um, messy race. Issa, Issa Fale that won, oh, the, yeah. won the roses or the bracelet or maybe yeah. both of them last year. I was like, what happened to it? But it's first up for 12 months on Sunday in Sydney. Right. And that Grace and Harmony, it might have been yep. the one that won oh, the roses. Yeah. It's in New Zealand now. So yep. yeah, there might have been another one as well. But yeah, just on that point of going, where do these fillies go? Yeah. It was... No, Kubrick wasn't a... No, it was... It was something. The name will come to me. Something, 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 something. Anyway, anyway. <coughs> Gypsy Goddess. A lot of fans of the Gypsy. Getting a little bit costly for punters, but it is her racing pattern. So does Barrier 22 give you some confidence if you're on Gypsy Goddess, or is it just a, a pen job? But when you say that, there's five or six in the market yeah. that have got the pen job barrier draw. You either have to... Put a pen through the barriers completely, or you've got like our friends that are on the on, on the drift I listened to this morning, and they um yep. yeah yeah pen, I pen pen job the um the barrier concern just in general as a rule in racing yeah I don't tend to agree with that no, but um, when but when you're talking twenty barriers though you've got to yeah. take like we're talking you've barrier ten of ten yeah. yeah I understand it but. But also, and shout out to Moz. I was late call up late drifter call of the week, oh. so <laughs> I'll have to. Uh, if you haven't listened to the boys, they're, they're a good listen. So yeah. give, them a, yeah, give them a listen. Give them a listen. I yeah. won't tell you who I tips because I'm about to. Okay, so, you know, because yeah. to tip the oaks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you do with her to be honest, because I think she's clearly the class stain filly oh. of the race. Yeah, but four forty from out there. Yeah, so I'm gonna like, go. Forget. I'm gonna go the four fifty from drawn well. Well, uh, Arabin is the only one in the market that's drawn well. Anything right, else yeah. that's been half fancied in the lead up runs yeah. has drawn is out well, with the crow. Does Gypsy start half the price, Barry one to ten? You know? Oh, it's, it's that, probably, it's, she's probably three, so yeah. I reckon. Yeah. You, you two love setting markets, don't you? <laughs> yeah, just make it up. <laughs> yeah. You sound smart when you do yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, my, my rate our, market, our, market, our market's, market's 490% <laughs> like every other yeah, like yeah, every yeah, other right. market that they, yeah. they put up. If you so, have more you know. at 10 bucks, you'll end up yeah. ahead at some point. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No lottery. Uh, Aravine on top from Smirk. But I just like I just think Aravine's the filly who's drawn well. She can hold a position. She's got the staying box ticked. Because she well and like Ting Tong, it, it went good the other ting day. Tong. <laughs> ting Tong, Ting <laughs> Tong, it went good in the Derby on Saturday. Yeah, it was, it's it only been a length or two, and um, she beat it pretty comfortably. And I just think, yeah, I think Brett Preble in a staying race. That's who you want to be with. I will be having right. something on Saturday because he does run pretty well. Yeah, well, 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 that's um, that's never gonna get on. How long until that is? Tommy Barry on Smirk as well. I know J Mac jumps off for Dynasties. Um, but I've got to have something smart because she was good the other day and she was chipping away at Barb Raider and I think yeah. over 2200 if that race on Saturday was 2200 she probably wins or that Bells of Wild might have railed up and got the shockies but yep Aravine from Smirk for me I think I'll have a view Moz because I think we might be on the same yeah. thing here yeah well we're we're throwing one a bit left field aren't we Ben which is yep. what we do best um, whether the throws ever hit the targets a different I'm actually pretty keen this one though to be fair I, I am was, as well I was up and about about um, Aravine and Run of that race. Well, Muggs, just to fill you in, because you do need to know who we're uh, <laughs> who we're tipping. Uh, horse number sixteen, Lavilli. So it comes through the the race there at Eagle Farm that Barb Raider won, and I know the experts, the ratings experts, they were potting the race a bit because they did walk apparently, and Barb Raider kicked and won. But we were on Barb Raider, which was good. Yeah. Yep. But uh, she was really hitting the line really, really well. Her only other start before that was in the Oaks down in Sydney, that heavy 47. Yeah. But again, hitting the line really, really well. Uh, and every start she seemed to have had, New Zealand form as well, from a wider draw, has no real option but to, to sort of miss the jump and settle. So... I'm thinking she's got a bit of a flashing light, bit of a turn of foot, as you could say. So from barrier two, even if she pots the start, she might be settling midfield just from right place, right time. Um, good track, seems to handle it, yep. you know? And I just don't really like where some of the fancy runners mm. might end up and run their race sort of early, you know, from yeah. that wide draw. So just even what they've come through. Like, I mean, I was on Dynasty's uh, a couple of starts back at the Gold Coast when when uh, the other day. Yeah, tenth yeah. of eleven at Rose Hill. Yeah. On Big weight against the other horses too, though. Like that's but 
Yeah, I know, but on a he- but on a heavy eight or nine yeah, over yeah. eighteen hundred, gut buster yeah. runs like mm. almost well, last by a long way, and, and that it was... comes here on a on what's going to be concrete. Well, and that like, was the feedback was it... from the stable. They needed a run, but I don't know why they didn't run up here again. Yeah, that was the day. I'm pretty sure. Wasn't it the day that Dooman was off? The roses. It was the roses day. Yeah, it was. Right. Yeah, it might so have been the day Doombin was off. They were going to yeah. go. They were going to have a heavy track either way. Yeah. So they went back to the back to the easier season. race rather than the group three. Yeah. She started what two sixty oh, or short, something. Yeah. It was like she was the really other, like, interesting. Well in the uh, interesting profile, Honey Creeper. I yeah. did talk to Jewess last year. Won the Adrian Knox. Got beaten in the Sydney Oaks. Didn't have a run. Trial in between. Came shame of the Queensland Oaks, and. uh Brothers, James and Edward Cummings, they might have had a chat. Huey Bowman on. Yeah, yeah. Barrier 20 is the... Yeah, but I think... Well, she got back when she won that Adrian Knox by the length of the Randwick straight. Like, she's going to have to go back and... It's a be... bit... Well, I think that's that's your your money for a lot of these fancies, is you, mm. you're going to be back. Or yeah. you're going to be wide. Are they running... Are they going to be running on a good three eagle farm track? Do you think something will just take one for the team and be three wide and they'll race him? Well, wide line with well you'd almost have to, and I sort of said these these sort of weak group <coughs> ones. You get like you get a bolter that just goes out and digs mm. a stupid pace because it's probably their only chance of any chance. There's you not know, much so, even in there that's ever done it before. I don't no, know, like, so you might get a Lasketti spirit that just kicks up and goes and throws it just into chaos, mate. And that's why we love Queensland racing because it's just. Well, chaos. I Festival Dancer and Nyota, they'll both be going forward, and they're both drawn. Ah, uh, but Festival Dance is drawn nineteen. It'll be. Yeah. It'll Nyota, be yeah. Nyota's second emergency. Well, then what? 200, no, and, but, 200 and one hundred to yeah. one. Yeah. Not so. the plume might it beat Kipling's journey the other day, and it it, and then went to the Barbrader race, but it might go forward mm. from the mm. inside alley. It'll be an interesting race. It will be an interesting. interesting race. So, La Ville for us. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Aravante for you, hey? Mm. Is that how you say? Aravine. Aravine, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking of Ariane Tay. Yeah. In the uh, in the good old get out stakes here. I think we can. Yeah. So we sort of uh, owe this horse a little bit because it scratched last week for us to get in. <clears throat> um, you sort of wonder. Well, it's a six dollar chance in a, a pretty decent little race here of the twelve hundred. So, yeah. K Mac rides pretty well up here in Queensland. He does. Chris Ma, uh, we he's already on the Christmas card list, but can he? Get one from each of us, Lloydie, if you're back in Oriente on, uh, on top. Yeah, he goes on top for me. Yeah? He does. Um, yeah, I think he brings the right form here, to be honest. I know I was happy to pot him two starts ago at Doom and when Eagle Farm when he won that Class 3 because he went from a midweek maiden show to the Class 3. But um, he won pretty... Um, it was only a small margin, but he still won pretty well. Um the maiden that he won at Doom and he beat that Delight, that thing in Muncie. Oh, yeah, yep. He won today at Ipswich um, and flanked yeah. that form. Only, miss, only uh, maiden, but miss that one. anyway, still form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then third to Ranchand last start, and I think if Ranchand gets his run in the Stradbroke, he might shake it up a bit. Be uh, one that can be winning the Stradbroke. So I think that's the right form. He's going to go forward, barrier five with K Mac on. Uh, yep, on top. Um, Nash wanted good rides. For the Godolphin Yard, and I think he's got um. This is his. This is his oh, best hope. I'm think. going back to the well. Yep. Wow. Man. Wow. He well, does ride well in Queensland. But he, he does. That's, so, that's no, a last start was a complete forgive job. It was three point nine lengths off Marabi mm. in away game in the Oakley Plate prior. Like I don't think the form around it's really that bad. Like no. you just completely bin that last start because it was ridden horrifically. Um, mm. it needs the extra hundred meters. Barrier too, so it's not going to be, you know, mm. it, it can be ridden a bit more forward and probably will be by Nash because he sort of likes to take up the running and I think that changes things a little bit. And I just, um, yeah, look at 550, a Thelrex flying, but I think um, I think ingratiating is a better than Godolphin, so I think you could take it out. Happy to be with. The winter race is this, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> Been a while. What's this last win? Oh, don't do that to me. It's, it's going to be a lot. It's, it's gonna first be, prep though. Like It's going to be a lot. It's what 10 starts ago. Ran a, oh, ran a flashing start. The Bain the Stakes. That's right. First up in Caulfield. Pissing. Yep. yep. A bit like Bivouac did, and everyone thought it was going to be the next Bivouac, but yep. Yep. it wasn't. Yeah, well, uh, Lloyd, on with you. I think that Oriente form sort of stacked up a bit better than what we anticipated, which yeah, is really so. good. Yep. It's really good. And we like the trainer now, too, don't we? So, we do. uh, well, boys, what a car. Yeah, Rupert Car. Ten bloody races of just ten winners, to be frank. 
Yep. Don't care where they come from as long as we get one of them. Yeah. Um, but we might need to get a best bet and a, maybe a sniff around the grounds. We've probably got another heavy 75 at Sydney. I don't know what they're doing leading at Victoria. That's what, what they seem to do. Heavy doing. down there, I think. Honestly. Is Adelaide still a racetrack these days? <laughs> well, I think it's apartments they, now, they go broke. Yeah. Uh, well, Lloydie, you set us off with the lock because... Uh, you missed out last week. I missed out last week. Bean, he's the banger. He'll finish the show. Yeah. Um, my best of the day is the autumn sun. Um, political debate. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Race through. That's uh, huge. Yeah, race through the Phoenix. Uh, horse 10, political debate. And around the grounds, I'm going to Shitsville. Uh, Shitsville Gardens, Rose Hill. Uh, race 6, the top eight lady of luxury. Uh, she was pretty good first up behind Maria Mia and Calgary Queen. Uh, you go back... End of prep, last run, uh, last prep. She was beaten by Snap Dancer, who is a Group One winner now, and she won that nice race on the Gold Coast, uh, the Class Four fillies and mares. Beat a couple of good horses, so I think she's flying now that she's sort of worked out where the winning post is. Excellent. Uh, Moz's must have. We're going to race four. Exo Lady just thinks she gets in really, really well here. Yeah. Um, I was just quickly going through the uh, the Belmont form, and unfortunately, no, uh, no Elite Street. No. Um, well, it wasn't, well, again, we we talked about hard beats for Red Cam Man last week. Jeez, so was, what, wasn't that great? Um, but there is one at Flemington that I did like. I was just trying to figure out what race it was, but it's our time. Um, game. Yeah, yeah, game, but the Flemington straight was the problem, and it's not going to get that. It's 1,400. <laughs> Uh, and Tuvalu goes around in that same race as well. So that's one for the heart starters. But from the barrier, Yelch, $4. It's our time. Um, Beans banger this week. Um, Rocky form is the best form in the nation. Uh, Ventura True. Ocean is a lock at the $9. Um, and I'm actually taking you on in race eight at Flemington. There's one oh. that is wild overs for the Paddy Payne stable. It's absolutely airborne. Just a canter. It gets a heavy eight track. It was launching late. I think it ran a pretty... Flashy fourth last start. What's he got? Is he got was it ten winners in the last five days or something? Whatever the stat was. That yeah, he's, it's, getting, he's getting posted. Stats going everywhere. Really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Paddy Payne yard flying just a canter in the red silks. There, I think can win that one at nineteens. Yep. Is, well, is he doing that race? Or was it in the next race? In, in the last? Because oh, I was a lot in the race. It was nearly going to be my around the grounds. Was what's Kissing, that? Kissinger. Um, but I don't know. I thought it was in race eight too. Well, it looks like Elvis is in the race. Wow. Ex-Queenslander. So it's pretty deep. Um, one's, he's got... one's good in Queensland at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, does nothing. I think you're yeah. like in Sydney. Rides, could, rides. Couldn't, couldn't win up here. Runs, runs well in Victoria. Yeah. yeah. That seems to be the way to go. Mm. I thought, uh, well, be careful you're not cheering Cherry Tortoni home. Oh, no, I won't be. Mate, I thought so. that's how you're going to go. Yeah. yeah, I was a bit worried. No, so no, no I'm, not that, I'm, not, I'm not that crazy. crazy. We gave you the, the spruit to end the show and you were nearly going to end with that. I was a bit worried. But anyway, we might end it on that then. Oh, yeah. Don't back Cherry Tortoni. That's Thanks, right. Mark. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Mike.